What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have more great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 11.4.x and iOS 12 jailbreak. A new proof of concept has been posted for a kernel vulnerability by Brendan Zed. So yeah, if you go ahead and hear on the uh, Apple security contents for the iOS 12.1.3, you probably have seen that there is a kernel vulnerability that is shared between Brendan Zed of Google Project Zero and this guy of Kwaiho or Kiho 360 Vulcan team. Now, this one in here is actually sorry my bad. And we discussed about him in my previous video. You probably remember that he posted this in here a few days ago. He said, quote, here is a poke or proof of concept of the bug that I used to jailbreak before. It can work before 12.1.2. The blog post about exploit on A12 will come soon. And he posted this picture in here, which I actually copied into a repository to give you access to the code easier. But anyways, then he followed it up with this, which is a um, write-up in English about how to get task for P80 zero on this bug. You can see here, you know, task for P80 zero on A12, which are the newest devices using this bug in here. Yes, everything you need to know is actually part of this write-up in here and everything you would need to perform. However, yes, you do need some knowledge in order to put it together into an exploit that would give you a task for P80 zero. But yes, this doesn't change the fact that the vulnerability is actually very powerful and can be used in a jailbreak given the right knowledge. So yeah, what has been posted is this one here from Google Project Zero. They say, quote, iOS and macOS task swap Mac voucher does not respect MIG semantics leading to use after free. So yeah, this is pretty much the same vulnerability that has been found by Sorry My Bad and Detail in the right up in here, but a different POC or proof of concept has been posted by Brandon Azad because he found the same vulnerability and of course since Sorry My Bad decided to make it public, he decided to make it public as well. So if you go ahead in here, you can see that he says, quote, this restricting as Sorry My Bad released his blog post describing this vulnerability. So yeah, this has been patched in iOS 12.1.3, but this POC in here is a little bit different than Sorry My Bad's. The code is factored in a different different way, so yeah, it's definitely better to have both of them because you can compare a little bit how they work since Sorry My Bad's post didn't contain the code and the code that he has given is actually quite hard to understand, it's not well documented at all. So yeah, I assume it's just a quick proof of concept that he wanted to demonstrate and he wanted to demonstrate that the bug is indeed there. If you want more information, you can always check out the write-up in here, which incidentally also doesn't contain any, you know, copyable code that you can use in a project you would have to pretty much uh, you know, copy images in here and add the missing parts in order to get TFP0, which does require a little bit of knowledge. It's unfortunately not as easy as copying the code in these pictures in here. You would have to, you know, read the write-up and understand it and then proceed by its instructions, which has indeed worked fine for Sorry My Bad, who pretty much used this vulnerability to demonstrate a proper jailbreak on iOS 12.x, which would give you the terminal. So yeah, definitely a very powerful vulnerability. And now we got this in here, which is the proof of concept by Brandon Zed. Now, please do keep in mind that this is not the uh, vulnerability that he has been announcing on Twitter. There is also one in here only by Brandon Zed. If you check it out in here and it's available down below, it says kernel and it's Brandon Zed of Google Project Zero and it has a completely different CVE. So yeah, there is another one by Brandon Zed that might get posted soon. So yes, this is actually very good. Now we have the uh, code posted by Brandon Zed and you can actually access it in here, voucher swap poc.c and if you open it, it has a completely completely different approach on, you know, doing this and it has way more documentation than Sorry My Bad's version, which is definitely useful for us because we may be able to use this and Tim Star hinted to the fact that he's going to use this in a possible jailbreak for iOS 11.4.x, but this one can also be used for iOS 12.x with no problem. Of course, TFP0 or the kernel task port is not everything that is required for a jailbreak, but it's a huge step ahead and once you have that, you can pretty much start building on top of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching i'm going to keep you updated on anything that's going on in the jailbreak community till the next time peace out